This is Tiski, my sister. When we were kids, she got a few golf clubs that were sawn off versions of men's blade irons. Of course, she couldn't get a ball in the air and hated golf. I would take her to the range with me, but she would hit a couple balls and then tell me golf wasn't for her. That was until January 2019, when she suddenly decided to take up golf. She got herself a decent starter kit, a set of Cobra F-Max ladies. Some of you may think that I'm telling Porkies that she's a beginner. But you can follow her on Instagram and check her progress to confirm I'm not lying. Why would you think I'm lying? Watch this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you think here? You've got? So I usually, I usually take a sandwich and if I had a full sandwich, I could usually get it there. Okay. okay then so the bunker freaks me out. So where do you hit it? I'm going to, I'm aiming from the middle of the green. I don't aim for where? the center. So, see where that palm tree is? At the palm tree. So 80, you got about 80, you got about 70, 78 yards aiming at the palm tree. Tree, that one. Is it okay? I wanted to get a feel for her game and help her out with some course management in the coming weeks. There's a bit of guidance here, but it's very easy to push a new player into not enjoying the game. Mindset differences and course management ideas can short circuit even the better players. It's always better to err on the side of fun. Where are you going to land it? Go, go. You see how the slope there comes off the left? Yeah. Land it on that piece of dew. You see the dew? Yeah. Land it on that dew. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. A lot of newer players and lower ability chippers aren't taking into account the slope and how the ball reacts to the ground. Most people have the ability to land the ball on a spot pretty naturally but it's the alignment and the idea of envisioning the ball moving left and right on the slope that is missing. Here, T-Ski would have gone straight at the pin and run through the green because of the severe slope on the firm greens. She would have been chipping again even though she may have hit a solid chip. What a player. <laughs> Great drive. Where are you going? Over this hill here, because then I can get onto that grass. Yeah, boy. On the grass. Can we mod the dogs? <laughs> <laughs> if we all had this reaction to a shot off the toe, golf would be maximum fun for everyone. Okay, where? Okay. If I punch it, do I have to hold the club a little bit differently? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but just don't smash it too hard because you're going to hit into that tree, right? Yeah. So you want to land it on the front of the fairway there, like a normal chip shot. Wait, show me a practice swing. Too hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's safe enough. That's pretty much where I wanted to go. Yeah. Some 
good tunes being played this Great morning. shot there. So this cool website. Cool. And the shirt? Also the cool website. Very <laughs> whole. Nice shirt, James. Where'd Where did you get, get that? that? Another website, man. You find them. I think it's like golf, golfsidekick.com. Oh, your name's not James. You're, you're Peter Finch, aren't you? Peter Finch. Oh, Can you sign my face? Rick Shields, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear that Tiski has no idea just how much of a big dog she is. 27 degrees of power. After learning to hit a ball airborne, the next lesson should always be to learn your carry distances. What a shot, baby. Sit down. I told you. I Sit down. Push this far. Every time. Where are you going? Going through those trees over there. Through the trees. Oh, and this uh, powerful sandy. Yeah, well, you've overshot the green by about 50 yards. Oh, sandy. So where are you going? You came and you stopped me from shanking. <laughs> Okay. 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 Show me a practice swing. Perfect. Okay. I teeth it a bit, but it's gone over the hill. Right on the top of the hill, then. Yeah, like that. Is that okay? That's still on the front of the green. Wait, 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 wait. Take a practice swing. Huh? Practice, practice swing. A little bit less than that. No, no wrist. There you go. Yeah. Get up. Okay. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Love it. There you go. Oh, oh it hit something. It bounced. It hit this, this pitch mark over here. Yeah. I've never had one before. Can I save it? No, you have to plant you it now. You have to plant it immediately. Yeah, you can't yeah. keep it. Find the blind. You have to take a picture of my first planting. It's on the video, don't worry. It's like a, you know, you planted it out of picture. Plant it at the tee. First feather. Now you have to say it. Planting. Always be planting. No, planting. Planting feathers. Growing birdies. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a wallop. Yes, it's lo I wish I could drive that straight, bro. Oh, oh, oh. joining me. No, don't worry so much. Just, uh, just hit a normal shot as long as it comes out the bunker. Just follow through, okay? Yeah, that's all you need. Just hit it out the bunker. I can't get my sandwich that far. Yeah, pitching wedge. I think maybe is that enough? It should be. I can. Yeah. Yeah, usually. Okay. Let me try the nine. <laughs> you can go one more. The flag's at the back. There you go. There you go. Come on, don't go in the bunker. Oi. Bunker! Even... Too much. Definitely out of the bunker though. I heard it, I didn't see it. Great shot. Oh, what a shot. Oh. Over the green. Get in, get in, get in. Ah. Great touch. That's good. Fly, fly. Avoid the bunker. Yeah, good shot up there. 
Great shot. Hit her on the fringe just to the right of the pin there. Like about a yard right of the pin on the fringe. Over the bunker. <laughs> now you want to hit it. You want to hit that seven wood of yours if you can. Do you like it? Do you like hitting seven wood? I can do that with my three. Yeah, okay. Do you like three, five, or seven? What's your favorite? Three. Okay, go for three. Remember, James, last time I hit it here? Yeah. My drive came here. What did you do last time with the second shot? A three. How was it? Perfect. Okay, cool. Do it again. This is one of my favorite holes. Now, if I could just walk past it, that would be 100. I got on the fairway, but the other fairway. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that's about 120. Yeah, 120 meters with a pitching wedge. Yeah, bro. Never. No, no. What's that? Did you not that distance because the pin's at the back of the green? Nine. Nine? Eight or nine. Even an eight, you're into the wind. Take an eight and be sure. One of those bounce forever. No, he's not going to bounce Hey, yo! The biggest takeaway I have when I play with my sister is her stress free, carefree attitude. Did you notice even one time when she was upset or tense? How many laughs and smiles did those puffy shots get? Exactly. It's just a lot of fun getting on the course with her. You'll notice in the next video I put up of myself, my score is quite good and it's credit to two people, my sister and J-Mac. My sister's devil may care idgaf golf attitude with J-Mac's practice and work ethic means I posted my best round since that 70 I shot at Vintage. My sister can smash a driver like a bouse, but just like every single person who plays golf, the short game is where she can eliminate tons of strokes quickly. Even as a beginner, she's able to get it on or around the green in a couple of shots. The irony is that by practicing chipping and putting exclusively, we improve our overall game immediately. When you chip, you're practicing the hitting area of the full swing. <laughs> the part that counts the most below hip height and the impact zone. You're training everything. Tempo, acceleration, distance control, feel and visualization all at once. 
When you add in the main benefit of improved chipping so you can chip it close and make putts, you start to lose your fear of hitting a bad approach. Once you start leaving your favorite approach distances into the greens, you hit it closer because of the loss of fear. The extra confidence filters down to the tee shots and you're able to place your tee shot at the distance you want to the green. Course management plus solid short game equals personal best time after time. This is not rocket surgery and anyone who poo poos the idea hasn't tried. For a beginner, yes, it's boring to stand and chip and putt. I understand that everyone wants to hit the big dog, but why not do the opposite of what everyone else is doing? I mean, it's not like what they're doing is working, is it? The world's handicaps haven't dropped for years. Well, I mean, until golf sidekick came along. Sun's out. Guns out. Which way to the green? <laughs>